Welcome back for our August 2024 real estate market update for the North Okanagan, the Central Okanagan, and the Shishwap. My hope is that this monthly overview will provide you with the latest insights and trends shaping the local markets and helps buyers and sellers make informed decisions. I'm Lisa Salt with Remax Burn and Salt Fowler. Let's dive right into our market overview for August 2024. Let's start by looking at the absorption, the sell to inventory ratios across the regions. They highlight varying levels of market activity. So let's start with the North Okanagan. The North shows a moderate activity level with a 16.19% ratio. That indicates a, the low end of a relatively balanced market. However, let's look at the Central Okanagan slower pace with a sell to inventory ratio of 9.44%. That's firmly in a buyer market territory. And the Shishwap follows closely with a ratio of 10.95%. Now, both of those suggest softer market conditions in the Central and the Shushwap. And really when the market is shifting into that buyer's market on both sides of us in the Central and the Shushwap, the North is gonna follow suit. We've just been lucky this month. Now let's look at days on the market. Properties in the North Okanagan are taking, on average, 64 days to sell. With the Shushwap properties staying on the market just a little bit longer at 74 days, and then the Central Okanagan homes are moving somewhat quicker, with an average of 57 days on the market. Now let's take a look at the average residential prices as well. Consistent market, I would say, with Central Okanagan maintaining the highest prices, of course, at 1,031,685, North Okanagan and the Shushwap have more moderate pricing as usual, 811,493 in the Shushwap and 748,272 in the North Okanagan. And the median prices and benchmark prices align pretty closely with this. So that supports those pricing trends. Let's look at the listing dynamics for a moment. This month has seen kind of a varied response in the new listings across the region. So let's start with the North Okanagan, where we experienced a decrease in new listings. We were the only ones that experienced a decrease, 9.57% decrease in new listings. Central Okanagan saw an increase of 12.02, and the Shushwap, huge jump, 39.41% increase. Now, despite the decrease in the North Okanagan, total listings across all the regions have increased year over year, increased from last year, indicating a growing inventory that offers more options for potential buyers, but also implies that increased competition for sellers. Let's have a look at what's on the market right now for waterfront properties. The interest in waterfront properties, it remains, you know, relatively steady. Year-to-date listings are increasing in all regions, as we've seen month over month over month. North Okanagan's listings have grown from 26 last year to 36 this year. Central Okanagan from 46 last year to 72 this year. And Shushwap from 39 last year to 48 this year. And then when we look at the sales of Waterfront year to date, last year until the end of August, there were 16 sales in the North Okanagan. This year, 13. So down four sales. For the Central Okanagan, 33 sales to date last year and 27 this year. And in the Shushwap, our only region to increase, 17 Waterfront sales last year to 22 this year. Why the increase? Well, I would say because the Shushwap is actually a lot busier than the North and Central Okanagan. As we talked about last month, the Shushwap, all those smaller areas on the lake aren't subject to the short-term rental ban. So I think that really helps the Shushwap a lot. Now let's look at sales performance. Total sales have decreased in the North and the Central. That's a 9.52% decrease in the North and a 10.97% decrease in the central Okanagan compared to last year. While the Shushwap observed a notable increase of 24.72% in sales. So a growing buyer interest in that Shushwap region again, because lesser restrictions out that way. And the residential sales figures follow similar trends with slight adjustments. Let's have a look at the month of inventory. I think that'd be something fun to look at. They're relatively high across the regions. The North Okanagan is 10.1 months. So 10.1 months it would take to sell everything in the North Okanagan. Central is higher actually at 12.3 months and Shushwap at 10.7 months. So these figures suggest a buyer's market where buyers might find more room to negotiate due to the higher inventory levels on the market. 
let's talk to buyers. Market conditions favors you guys, favors the buyers right now, particularly in some of the re regions where the extended days on the market and the high inventory levels provide ample negotiating leverage. You buyers, you may want to consider exploring various property options, including waterfront homes, where there's increased listings and that may result in a better deal for you. Let's talk to you sellers out there for a moment. With the current market showing increased competition, slower sales rate, it's so crucial for you to price your property competitively. And you really have to ensure your home is well presented. In regions like the North Okanagan, where the market is more, you know, kind of at the low part of the balanced market, sellers may experience a quicker sales cycle if their properties are priced according to market conditions. I just want to have a look through a couple of graphs. Let's look at how every market is really two markets. We have to know that just because a house is on the market, it does not by any means mean that it's in the market. Everybody wants to be in the market. Now let's look at a seller's market for a moment. A seller's market is when the demand exceeds supply. And this means home values are on the rise, days on the markets drop, and the number of homes on the market drop as well. You can see that a large majority of homes naturally fall in this type of market. Homes that may not have otherwise sold are not only selling, but are selling for more money in less time. That is not us today. We are not in a seller's market. That is 2020, 2021. Now let's look at the buyer's market. A buyer's market is when the supply exceeds the demand. This means that home values are on the decline, days on the market will rise, and the number of homes on the market increases. Exactly what's happening right now. You can see that a much smaller number of homes fall in the market now. You can see this small little light blue spot. Now many sellers have difficulty finding the right balance between price and condition based on comparable homes and as a result find themselves chasing that market downwards. You don't want to be chasing the market downward if you can help it. Now let's just take one last look. In this chart, you see the importance of pricing in the market. Many sellers find themselves in this no man's land. They, they think that they're priced their homes well, but they're just not well enough to sell. They actually find themselves out of the market, chasing the market down and continually reducing their price, reducing, reducing, reducing. And pricing your home too high, as we know, can seriously affect a buyer's interest. You have to be in the market to be able to sell. That's my last word on that. Hope you have a great rest of your summer. Enjoy some fall and we'll see you next month.